I want to thank Stan Lee and Peter Paul, Peter Paul, Peter Paul. It was a, an extraordinary uh, array of the leadership of the Democratic Party and A-list Hollywood. We'd like to dedicate this to Mrs. Clinton tonight. God bless. Someday, when my life has passed me by, I lay around and wonder why you were always there for me. I'm a guy who's dealt with superheroes most of my life. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can, spins a web any size. He created Spider-Man, X-Men, the Fantastic Four, and the Incredible Hulk. The new purchasers of Marvel fired Stan. We decided to start our own company starting with one employee and five hundred thousand dollars that I put together. Peter set me free. Stan Lee, some slim big announcement he's making about the internet. Within a year, we had a market cap uh, in excess of three hundred million dollars. I decided, well, maybe I should reach out to Bill Clinton to work with us and be a rainmaker for the company when he left the White House. My first entrepreneurial venture right. was setting up a comic book stand and used comic books. I had two footlockers full of them. I could uh, accomplish my objective by becoming a major contributor to the party. I don't know about you, but you know, I've been to one or two of these events. <laughs> it's critical that we all chip in and contribute whatever we can. We want to thank you, and we're going to be there for you. Great. It's great to see you. Look forward to working with you. Thank you. This has nothing to do with campaign contributions at all. How are you? Nice to see you again. I'm very excited to see you again. And I also want to thank uh, Stan and Joan and Peter and Andrea for their support. I love that. Someone might ask you after this event why you would come to an event to support someone running for the Senate in New York. My interest in supporting Hillary Clinton was specifically to hire Bill Clinton. I'm thrilled. You've got me all jazzed up. And they concocted a big uh, fundraiser for Hillary. This fundraiser in August 2000 in Los Angeles raised more than a million dollars for then Senate candidate Hillary Clinton. I want to thank Stan Lee and Peter Paul, Peter Paul, Peter Paul. I had accomplished uh, hiring a president of the United States to work with me when he left the White House. Washington Post published the first article of Peter Paul having a felony record from two decades previous and that I didn't contribute any money to her campaign and she vowed she wouldn't take any money from me and her representatives in making these false allegations were lying on her behalf the Clintons now had to pretend that they did not even know who Peter Paul was. Do you recall Thank Mr. You. Paul? Do you recall Thank working you. with him at all? A few days later, on August 18th, they each sent me handwritten letters which professed our undying friendship, their undying gratitude. A week after that, I got some signed photographs uh, from the White House, from Bill, from the event a full two weeks from the original story in which Hillary vowed never to take money from me. Her finance director faxed me a request for $100,000. My reaction to that was, well, why would I send any more money when you vowed not to take any more money from me? This appears that it was planned all along that they were going to deceive Peter Paul, steal his Japanese business partner and do damage to his company. Tendo Oto had promised to infuse Stanley Media with five million dollars in November of 2000. Bill Clinton's business partner Jim Levin had flown to Japan, stolen Tendo Oto as a business partner, made his own agreement. 
And what he had effectively done was convince Odo, instead of working with the president with me and my company, that he could work directly with the president with Levin. So that began to trigger a meltdown of the stock. The company collapsed as a result. I discovered that in the filings that Hillary's campaign filed with the FEC, they had entirely omitted any reference to any of my contributions. The Clintons took $2 million from me and hid it. Now, what we're looking at here is the largest election law fraud in the history of the United States. And he told the feds that the Clinton campaign lied about it. <laughs> and I delivered a demand letter to Hillary Clinton. We had filed the civil suit against the Clintons which detailed all the money that I'd spent with co copies of checks and invoices. And then I discovered that I was being investigated in connection with the misuse of my brokerage accounts. I was suddenly uh, detained by Interpol in Brazil for extradition. They moved me to a remote part of this jail, which was called the Corridor of Death, in which 16 inmates had been immolated, they would be chanting, burn the gringo. My family wasn't able to hear from me at all. They didn't know what was happening. And I never knew from one day to the next if he was alive or dead. The Clintons were able to have the original civil suit thrown out on the basis of that I was a fugitive at the time. Hillary's skill has been in seeing to it that obvious crimes didn't reach the level of being placed in front of a jury because if they ever had, she might have been baking cookies in the same place that Martha Stewart did. The court held that the case should proceed to trial. But clearly this could have implications for Mrs. Clinton's political future. Sure, this could have serious implications, not just for her 2006 re-election campaign, but for 2008, where she's the front runner for the presidential nod. The chief of public integrity finally indicted David Rosen. The finance director for Hillary Rodham Clinton's Senate campaign is in trouble with the law. The Fed's charging David Rosen with intentionally understating contributions for a Hollywood fundraising gala. Hillary Clinton's former chief fundraiser under fire. For allegations of lying about the cost of a fundraiser put together on her behalf. The judge that officiated over the Rosen trial was appointed by the Clintons. The judge stated that Hillary had absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with that case. The judge went out of his way, took every possible effort to make certain that everyone on that jury knew that Hillary Clinton had nothing whatever to do with what Mr. Rosen did. He turned it into a referendum on the credibility of Peter Paul, making a remark that he's a con man. And a totally corrupt individual who couldn't be believed or trusted. When you see that sort of thing, you conclude either that the prosecutor is incompetent or worse, that the prosecutor is dogging the case. The whole idea was we have to make sure that Hillary is completely out of this and we have to make sure that Peter Paul is totally discredited. Senator Clinton has not been charged in the case. The, the fact that you are probably not aware that this landmark litigation is now proceeding in a California court indicates how effective the Clintons have been in thwarting the media from exposing the facts on the public record that would normally end any politician's career and land them in jail. The media have not abrogated their responsibilities uniquely in the case of Hillary Clinton. They always have a tendency to fear power and to suck up the power. Hillary Clinton uh, is not in the loop in any direct way. It would be very difficult to stretch fingerprints to the senator herself. I'd be amazed if there's any evidence directly. The senator played absolutely no role uh, in what happened with the campaign's finances. So right. I think it's pretty clear that this is far removed from Hillary Clinton. Now, if there's evidence, that's another matter. Well, You're making an accusation. Can you prove it? How can you prove it? What proof do you have? Hillary Clinton called me in my office in July of 2000 and I started my video camera to capture a conversation that we had with myself and other people in the office. Whatever it is you're 
doing. I, is it okay that I thank you? <laughs> I think it's tremendous. No, you know what? We're having a good time trying to help out. Well, I, I'm very appreciative. It sounds fabulous. I got a full report from Kelly uh, today when she got back and told me everything that uh, you're doing, and it just sounds like it's going to be a great event. But I just wanted to call and personally thank all of you. I'm glad you were all together so that I could tell you how much this means to me, and it's going to mean a lot to the president, too. This five-minute videotape.